Pero. Pe. 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 Ro. Ro. So basically, you like everything but Germany. Yeah, Germany. I mean, this might be an ongoing theme. Hi, I'm Ashley from America. Hallo, ich bin Nela aus Deutschland. Bonjour, c'est Lucille de France. Ciao, sono Marco e vengo dall'Italia. Hola, soy Micaela y soy española. So I did live in the UK for a little bit, which is not like mainland Europe, but I've been to Italy. It was decent, it was cool. I wanted to go to Germany and France. Did not go because of COVID. Germany and France. Yeah, Spain, I, I never thought about, <laughs> really. I was just like, they're, they're kind of cool. After watching Money Heist though, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You were like, I can get some easy money in Spain. <laughs> no, no. I Mika just, will just bully us all into loving Spain. I mean, my favorite thing about, about Italy was like cheap wine. So I feel like if all of the countries have cheap wine, then I'd like them. But Spanish has. Yeah. Yeah, I really guess. Good wine. In America, we'd say Europe. In Germany, we say Europa. And in France, we say Europe. In Italy, we say Europa. In Spain, we say Europa. I like the French version because it sounds very similar to English. But I like Spain and Italian because it was like, it had that like, I don't know. It just sounded very like sophisticated and like made it sound like a beautiful place. I, it is a beautiful place. So I basically you like everything but Germany. Yeah, Georgia. I mean, this might be an ongoing theme. We'll see. Yeah, we shall see. <laughs> Europe. 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 I can't do the R, I think. Europe. 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 Yeah. I think in English we don't really have this kind of like, I don't know what noise, like, er, like first of all, uh, like an U uh noise isn't common in English and then the R is kind of different. It's like, <laughs> uh, 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 like almost not saying ra, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Mm. It's it's just, mm. my mouth doesn't want to do it. I think it's, it's pretty like linear, like Europe. Europe. Uh, Europe. Is it? Because the U uh sound is so difficult to make. Europe. 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 Uh, like water? Like, oh, uh, water is O. Oh. O. Oh. So it's Europe. 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 Uh. Europe. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow, that was really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm French. <laughs> I'm French now. Um, so the next word we would pronounce computer. In Germany, we say computer. Uh, in French, we say ordinateur. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in, in Italian we say computer. We say uh, ordenador, but in Latin America they say computadora. South American Spanish version sounds like kind of like bad words that I heard in the hallway at school. Right. Um, <laughs> I thought the same. Um, and then for Italian and for German, obviously it's fairly similar. Like I think even like an American could say like computer if, or like a British person, it would mm. kind of sound the same. Ordinator? Ordinator? I don't know. Yeah, I don't um, understand you. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it gives the vibe of something Who, that What are you calculates? ordinating? Like, like what yeah, it sounds kind of weird. Yeah. I think so hard. I know why she thinks that computadora is <laughs> like a bad word because yeah. so you know computadora has puta. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why maybe she's like oh, puta. <laughs> so if you go to Spain, don't say computadora, say ordenador. Yeah, ordenador. <laughs> we say laptop. I think we also say laptop. Uh, in French, we will say ordinateur portable. It's like the mobile version of the computer. Oh, yeah. so wait, o ordinator, it's the mobile? <laughs> <laughs> like it's an ordinator, but you can take it and move it. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, I, I, so what's the word again? Ordinator portable. Pa a pot portable. A portable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, ordinator yeah. portable. But usually we don't say that. Usually we, we just say PC. Like to describe any type of uh, computer. Yeah, that yeah. sounds easier. Yeah. <laughs> Same. In Italy, we say computer portatile. So it's very similar with uh, English, portable computer. But we cut it, we just use portatile. Yeah, we, we say the same in Spanish, portatile. So, of course, we call that dog or puppy. In Germany, we say hund. In France, we say chien. And if it's a girl, we say chien. In Italian, we say 
Kane. Uh, there's also a female version which is Kanya, but it's more like a bad word or ah. specific word oh. where for vet- veterinary when when oh. when the dog when you bring the dog to the veterinary, they just to specify the um, the gender of the dog. But we don't really call female dogs Kanya. It's a bit of a bad word. In, yeah. in Spain, we say perro, or uh, if it's like a small dog or like baby dog, we say cachorro. The way you roll your tongue is so cool. I cannot. Perro. Pe, 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 Bark bark or woof woof? Bark bark, come on, <laughs> really? No, we, we do, we do woof. In French it's uh, woof woof. Woof woof. woof. <laughs> you have a French accent. Uh, I don't remember woof, woof. well, but in Italian it's kind of like bow bow. Like bow wow. Oh. Like this. They don't bark. Wow, wow. <laughs> nice. All right, so this one is uh, highly contested. It's soccer. In Germany we say football. In France we say football. In Italian, we say calcio. In Spain, we say football. We win. <laughs> no soccer. Uh, I don't understand why they say soccer and they call the rugby football and they use yeah. no feet whatsoever. It is not rugby, okay? It's completely different from I know, rugby. it's kind of like it's that. American football. It's American football. It's so different. It's where's, the, trigger. where's the feet? Like, you There's just throw Australian the ball. There's also Australian football, you know? Like, that's a thing. They have, they have like, football football. They you love know? doing, like, different things there. But why is it called calcio? Cal- cal- Culture in Italian literally means a kick. Yeah. Oh. To wow. kick a ball, I guess. Yeah. I don't know where the word soccer comes from. I have no idea. Yeah. It's just like there. Yeah, why did you have to make it? It was yeah. perfect. Football was amazing. Then the next word is Wi Fi. In Germany, we say VLAN. In France, we say Wi Fi. In Italian, we say Wi Fi. In Spain, we say Wi Fi. V- v- how do I pronounce the, the, the German one? VLAN? VLAN. Yeah, oh, I've yeah, heard yeah. that from like a um, vlogger or something like that. She's like, oh yeah, my hotel, we didn't have VLAN. And I was like, what's that? And I looked in the comments. Wi-Fi? I've heard it as a joke, I think. Like on right. the internet, like someone would be like, shut up, you call Wi-Fi Wi-Fi. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened when I go to Latin America because my family, well, I have like mixed family. So when I was there, I was like, there you, anybody has Wi-Fi? And they were like, what is that? And I was like, oh, sorry, you are from Spain, you know? You should post to say Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi. That's like English, and you are speaking Spanish. And they were like, nah, I don't understand you. Sometimes, especially people in Germany who speak like English also use Wi-Fi. Yeah. People who know it as Wi-Fi but don't speak English as well say Wi-Fi. So mm. you hear a lot of variety in Germany in that case. Interesting. Okay. So the next word is Cartier. I don't want to admit it, but <laughs> probably in Germany, probably. If we don't know the correct pronunciation, we would say Cartier. Uh, in Italy, we I think we say Cartier with a strong R in the Cartier. So in France, we say Cartier. 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 We, don't, we do not really pronounce the last R. Yeah. Cartier. 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 It's, it sounds a little bit more like... Cartier? Cartier? I've heard people in America legitimately call it Cartier. Those are people who really don't know what it is. I've only heard it before as Cartier, but yeah, I've definitely heard people say like Cartier, mm. like in high school especially, because they'd be like, this is my fake Cartier ring. And I was like, what? <laughs> Cartier? <laughs> yeah, I think Cartier is the most like uh, known version I uh, use, I would say. I heard all of the time people saying Cartier. Like mm. When we don't know like what's the pronunciation, we will not get it. Like if I mean it depends, but like if someone's like randomly in the street say, "Oh, do you know where is a Cartier?" I think we will look at them like, uh, not not sure. <laughs> That's actually like an American stereotype about fr- the French. Is like if you go there, don't even try speaking the language because they're just gonna they're just gonna. Like, they're just gonna be like, I don't know, I don't know. But I think pronunciation is very big, even like in the US, like when you don't pronounce the same word correctly, it's yeah. like totally different word. I feel like in the US though, there's just so many accents already, like mm. mixed into like society. Like we have people from literally like everywhere. So mm. the way I talk is completely different than like, say my friends that are from the Northeast or from the what like, 
yeah, I feel like when I talk to my friends about going to France, they're like, how are you going to ask for directions? No one's going to tell you. <laughs> um, and I've actually had really good experiences with French people in Korea. I've never been to France. So I figure it's not like a true stereotype, but it is one that we hold. Of course, we say one, two, three, four, five. In Germany, we count one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, in France, we say one, two, three, four, five. In Italian, we say uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque. In Spain, we say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Yes. Yeah, we, I think that as Italians, most of Italians, we understand probably 90% of what Spanish people say. Hoy hace mucho sol y la verdad es que tengo un poco de frío. It's pretty sunny today and I'm actually pretty cold. Yeah. yeah. Oggi sono venuto qui in studio con l'autobus e la metropolitana. Um, today, blah blah the bus, blah blah the city. <laughs> she got the bus part right. In the city, metropolitan is not. Met no, metropolitana in Italian it's like subway. Subway. Oh. Uh, yeah. I said today I came to the studio by taking a bus and then I took the subway. Yeah. So okay. I, I didn't get that. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's a pass for me. That is really good. Yeah, yeah. that's why I, I said well. Italian can understand Spanish people, probably not. <laughs> I thought it was very interesting. We got into a little bit of a deeper like topic, so um, it helped me understand a little bit more. So much fun to meet you all and uh, really nice. Yeah, it was really great, really fun to talk about this word difference. And also what I really like is when we realize that there's always a word in either of us was completely different of your girls. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised we didn't mention the ananas one because it's a big topic actually. The pineapple. Ah, uh, pineapple? Yeah. Ah. yeah, ananas is ananas everywhere, but pineapple in, in, in ah. US, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's very like, I think it's I think very I've seen cool. that on the label before. <laughs> like, yeah, like the different translations. Yeah, yeah. It's, it seems like anana, it's fun because that's how uh, Spanish from Latin America will say pineapple and then Spanish from Spain say piña. So, oh, yeah. I got like you say, yeah. Yeah, piña colada, you know? Ah, oh my god! <laughs> 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 I didn't realize that ananas. came. We say ananas as well. Yeah. We say yeah. ananas. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even, even German. So you have your, like, what do you mean even German? German. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're flat, okay? It was great like uh, to check the differences of our language, even though they're pretty similar, but it's always nice that uh, every language has its own twist uh, to it, so it's, it's, it was nice to check the similarities and the differences. Yeah, it was fun to know like everyone's uh, country, language, and it was really interesting to meet these people, so I'm really glad to be here. So today we talked about what differences? If you liked the video, please like or subscribe and leave a comment down below. We'll see you soon! Bye! Bye. Bye.